Alright, so just a quick little video about spin tires. Uh, I'll just basically get right into it, but uh, right off the bat you basically have six different maps you can play. As far as I understand, they're in order here from easiest to most difficult. Uh, I know the coast is a pretty easy map and the volcano is pretty hard, so I presume that the rest of them are ordered accordingly. Um, I already have a save game on the go on the easiest map, so I'll just dive right into it here. <clears throat> so, right away, like, the ultimate objective here is to, you have, every map will have a lumber area here, and you have to haul logs to the objectives. You can see here the objective, it says shows delivered 0 out of 8. Um, you can haul three different sizes of logs. Um, if you haul a load of small logs, it's worth 2 points. Uh, um, a load of medium logs is worth 4 points and large 6. Um, but obviously the terrain in the map is quite difficult to travel across so hauling the bigger loads can be more difficult and if you get into a situation where your truck flips on its side or is damaged to the point where it's no longer running and you have to reset it back to your garage then you lose the load and you have to start all over again so um, you can see here part of the map is cloaked there's this cloaking here so you can't see really what way the roads go or anything um, you can uncloak the map by driving to it um, right where it says cloaking here right in the center there will be like an, an area you can reach and if you reach that area it will uncloak a portion of the map so most of this all in here was cloaked I've already gone ahead and uncloaked a bunch of it because I usually like to do that ahead of time um, when you uncloak the map too you may uncover uh, a vehicle which is locked. I believe there was one right in here um, and if you drive to it if you manage to get to the ve that vehicle you can unlock it and have it sent back to your garage and then you have access to it. So at the moment I actually have four vehicles, two of which I started with. Um, in each map it's a little bit different but in this particular map you start just with this little SUV thing which is obviously incapable of hauling any logs and you also start with this old little weird truck here which I don't think you can haul logs with it either um, yeah it's it's pretty useless this here is one of the uh, trucks that I've unlocked I consider this one of the two main trucks in the game um, so at your garage, real quickly, you can see, you can install different add-ons and things. Um, there's this carriage, which, as you can see, it allows the truck to be able to carry a load of short logs. So if you add the log cart and the medium log cart, then that configuration allows you to haul a medium load. So some of the other things you can do is, let's get rid of that for a moment. We'll go through some of the other things. Um, you can haul a fuel cistern, so if I have one truck that's out in the wilderness and it's running low on fuel, I can switch to this one, throw a fuel tank on it and haul fuel out to it. Um, garage parts, so this is, this is kind of interesting. Um, you start with this one garage and you can see there's two other locked garages on the map, so to unlock them you have to haul four points worth to each one so uh, you can see this one I already hauled two points to it and I did that by putting this uh, garage parts thing on the truck and driving it to the garage um, if you were brave and you want to try just bringing all four in one trip you could put this garage trailer on and this trailer is worth all four points so one trip with that and you've unlocked a garage what are the other things so utility attachment so that carries 800 repair points you can see down here uh, this particular truck can accumulate up to 600 damage points before it's completely damaged and you can't drive it anymore 
Um, as you go through, usually I find the worst thing is when you hit things underneath the truck, like if you drive over a big rock or something like that that hits the undercarriage of the truck, that usually does a lot of damage, but um, yeah, you'll accumulate damage as you go along, and that's just a way, basically the same idea as fuel, as hauling repair points out to your other vehicles. So you can explore, like the different trailers, I mean, they all serve one purpose or another, whether it's for hauling garage points, logs, fuel, repair stuff, or sometimes a bit of both, like if I put a fifth wheel on and there is this utility trailer which has, as you can see, can carry 900 liters of fuel and 1200 repair points so that might be pretty useful all right so now we'll take a look at some uh, actual gameplay right now I have one of the other trucks and it's uh, outfitted with everything it needs to haul a load of long load logs um, so I have picked it up from the lumber area here gone up here and I'm going to go all the way to this objective down here because this one already has four points so I just need to deliver a lo another load of medium logs to it and it'll be complete so I'm gonna take it down here so uh, F1 toggles your map by the way uh, you can left click on the map to sort of create a route um, this will be, you'll see why this is more practical in a moment. So these red lines here, when I exit the map, you can see that they do show up here as well. So it just kind of helps you to stay on track. Um, the camera is kind of weird. It's a, it's a third person camera, obviously. You can see when I move it around, it doesn't stay centered on your vehicle. Some people I know really don't like this. Um, you can also use, if you click here, you can use the, like a roof cabin here, which is actually kind of nice for if you're going between trees and stuff like that. Um, the other thing is, when you left click, it toggles between having your mouse move the camera around and having your free cursor. So. By default, WASD or the arrow keys to move. Uh, I use, I just have an automatic transmission. You can configure an Xbox controller or a, I believe, I think it's just the G27 and the G920 that is currently compatible with this. I could be wrong, but there are some steering wheels you can use and you can set up the clutch and the eight shifter and everything. Uh, Q will toggle your differential lock. E will toggle your all-wheel drive. When you're loaded, you pretty much have them both on all the time anyway. Spacebar will toggle your uh, parking brake. So, and then lastly, H will turn your headlights on and off. You'll you need your headlights at night. You'll you'll find that out as you go along. So, anyway, keep moving here. Most of your traveling when you're, especially when you're loaded, is pretty pretty slow going. You're usually in first or second gear, especially on some of the harder maps. You know, like probably 80% of it is stuff like this. I very, very rarely haul the long logs, but I find that the medium logs are a good balance between not having to make a ton of trips and making a trip that's actually possible. So we'll see if I'm able to do this. But at some point too, I'll show uh, use of the winch, which will be very handy if you're ever stuck. Actually, no, we can just do it real quick now. So if I was stuck here per se, I'm not. But if you press V, uh, it'll put your parking brake on and it'll open up some op options here. You can you can just instantly switch trucks. You can 
drop your load if you just give up and want to abandon it. You can use your onboard repair options if you have any. I have that spare wheel, so I can use that if I want to. Um, and you can... This particular trailer, I could fold it up if I wanted to, if it was empty, but... Uh, and then also, you have these, you can see this little... There are these two circles here. Um, there are points where you can connect winches. So if I was stuck here and I wanted to keep moving forward, I could click here, and then it shows you all the different available points that you can connect your winch to. Right now there's not really any that's practical. I don't really want to pull myself sideways, so uh, yeah, and I can't reach any of those, but let's uh, keep going and see if we can use the winch at some other point. So here's a fun part, a little uh, river crossing, I should say a little. Um, you can't just cross a river anywhere. If it's too deep, you'll just you'll get a warning that the water level's too high and they'll just instantly put your truck damage to full. Um, usually if there's, you see tire tracks going through it, then it's usually fine, but not always. So I'm going to go through here and hope that it's okay. you use the winch once you have it connected to a point if you hold F it'll start pulling so what you want to do is you pull while you uh, drive look at that there we go I think I'm free like that. That looks kind of frightening. I really hope I don't roll over. And we're good to go. So that's basically it, guys. That's my interpretation of spin tires in a nutshell. So. This game does have multiplayer support. Um, you can also use your winch and hook it up to other trucks if you need another truck to pull yourself out. Um, you can actually do that in single player too. Um, there's kind of a limited AI you can use to help drive one of the other trucks while you're pulling one of them out. So you can play around with that if you ever get stuck at a point and there's no trees to hook your winch up to. Thanks for watching guys.